Hey guys, let's uh, talk about some spotting scopes today. We got a few of the uh, Valdera Optolith line of spotting scopes. Um, we have the 100 millimeter, the 80 millimeter, and the mini. Okay, so let's start with the little one, with the little cutie. Um, this one is a relatively new product. It's a, it's a collapsible type spotting scope, okay? So when you're ready to, to view through it, you have to pull it out like this, and then when you're ready to go, I come out and go for sheep hunting, whatever, you just fold it in and it becomes very, very compact. It's got a pop-up, a nice eye cup. Uh, it's a 15 to 45 with an 80 millimeter objective, shot glass, uh, cellar, cellar, Cerulean Plus fully multi-coating, retractable sunshade, fully rubber armored, water resistant. It is not uh, water um, waterproof submersible because it's collapsible. So this joint here does not let us swim with it underwater, but anything else is covered. Okay, so 15 to 45 by 80, extremely compact. It's probably the smallest compact in an 80 millimeter size objective. Beautiful looking. Uh, next, we have um, our compact um, 80 millimeter spotting scope. Uh, similar features, but this is a, a solid body spotting scope. It's not a collapsible. Uh, retractable sunshade as well. This one is, uh, has full rotation, so you just loosen here and then you can turn the body 360 degrees in any position you want. Okay, you also have a, uh, a uh, cover on this eyepiece, so we can take this off real quick. And then we put, a, we put the eyepiece on. We have several eyepiece of, eyepieces available. Um, we have a, a uh, variable which is part of the package. Um, this scope is sold with a 20 to 60 uh, power uh, variable eyepiece. We also have, in addition to that, uh, 30 power fixed with a mill radical. Send it. Okay, and also we have a 30 power wide angle and also a fixed power 70 power wide angle. So anyway, this is how that looks. Again, the new pop-up rubber eye cup, very comfortable eye relief on this, on this, right, on this uh, spotting scope. Uh, fully rubber armored, argon gas filled, submersible waterproof. This one also comes in 45 degree angle or straight. Um, Optolith makes the 80 millimeter compact uh, exclusively in HDF format, meaning it's, uh, it's got uh, crystal fluoride glass with a fully multi-coat APO coating. Okay, next we have the, uh, the big cajona, the 100 millimeter. Um, it's offered in um, two formats. It's, uh, it's offered in a 45 degree angle eyepiece or straight eyepiece. Uh, there's several uh, eyepieces available for the 100 millimeter model. Uh, the most popular uh, and the, let's say, the original uh, package that we sell the 100 millimeter is the 30 to 60 eyepiece with a scope. So it would be a 30 to 60 by 100. Uh, we also have a reticle eyepiece. It's a 45 fixed power with an MOA reticle grid. Uh, we also sell a 45 eyepiece wide angle with no reticle, just a regular eyepiece 45 power wide angle, and also a 90 power wide angle fixed, fixed power. Um, the, um, 
the 100 millimeter is pretty much what we call a, a loaded model. It uh, is manufactured with uh, the finest uh, fluoride crystal glass and APO coatings. It's pretty much the best Germany has to offer. The scope, yeah, it's 100% it's made in Germany. Eyepieces as well. Uh, we have uh, a couple of interesting features with 100 millimeters since it's got quite a bit of power. You have a dual focusing uh, mechanism. This one right here in the center of the scope is a coarse focus. When you first start looking through the scope and you find the target, it brings you right in very quickly. And then this would be the fine focus adjustment. So you have uh, two, two different uh, focusing uh, wheels, one in the center and one on top here. Very, very handy to, when you grab the scope, you, it's right there at your fingertips. Um, very comfortable uh, eye relief. It's uh, about 18 to 20 millimeter. Um, the eyepiece folds down on this particular. Um, uh, I, this is the uh, 45 MOA radical eyepiece. And again, if you let's see, if you wear glasses, if you care to use the scope with glasses on, uh, it folds down so you can get right all the way down on with uh, on the scope. Uh, the scope is mounted on, uh, uh, on our fi uh, carbon fiber tripod um, with the uh, quick pistol grip head, very solid, um, it's a, it makes a great, great package. Take it off. The, uh, the 100 millimeter uh, is offered in two versions, the TBG. The TBG is, uh, is the model with a straight eyepiece. The TBS is the model with a 45 degree angled eyepiece. Uh, rubber armor throughout, um, argon gas filled, submersible waterproof, um, again, retractable sunshade, okay, for difficult light conditions. Also, the body rotates fully, 360 degrees. When you're on a bench, you can set it in a, in a comfortable position to, for you to, to look through. Okay, so um, a quick reminder, the 80 millimeter compact um, is available uh, with a 20 to 60 power package deal. Uh, and we also, very important, we have the new eyepiece um, with a radical. It is a 30 power mill reticle grid. Um, the same eyepiece mounted on a 100 millimeter would be a 45 power with an MOA reticle grid. And the, um, uh, the reticle eyepiece has two adjustments. It's unlike any other eyepiece there is. Um, it has one adjustment so after you mount the eyepiece on the scope, if the radical grid is crooked, you can straighten it up and line it up perfectly. And then the second adjustment is to focus the image of the radical to your eyesight. This is very, very important. And it's got a huge field of view, crystal clear. The radical grid is very, very um, practical and easy to use. Uh, a spotter could easily call shots immediately. Uh, we have numbers on the grid. It's easy to see uh, whether it's two mil low, three mil high, uh, five mils wide or to the left or one mil to the right, whatever the case may be. Okay, we have uh, two more uh, important accessories available for the spotting scopes. We have the camera adapters. Uh, this adapter, again, 100% made in Germany. It is a, a digital camera adapter, universal, very easy to, uh, to mount, and very easy to use. And then this is a, a, a 35 millimeter camera adapter, which is uh, on its last legs. Everybody's on a digital now, but we still offer that for people that want to use 
classic 35mm cameras designed our spotting scopes. Okay, in addition to our beautiful spotting scopes, uh, we have some tripods. Uh, this one here is our heavy duty aluminum tripod. And uh, it's got very nice feet, uh, adjustable, okay? It's heavy duty, heavy duty rubber. And uh, then we have two extensions here that take this tripod to the six feet and uh, I'll take them all out so we can see exactly how tall it is. Very nice smooth action. Okay. And then we have another extension here. It goes all the way up. And then take it down. And uh, the pistol grip mount it really quick. Okay. It's got a bubble level on each side. Also a level over here at the top. It's got a very nice uh, quick detachable plate. And uh, it's got a nice, nice little lever here so you don't have to look for a coin in your pocket to operate it. It just got a nice nice little handle and you can attach it right away. And once you have the scope on, you just slide it right in there. It clicks into place and you tie it in this little knobby here. And it's solid as a rock not going anywhere. The tension on the, uh, on the grip is really really nice very solid okay in addition to this one we have the uh, carbon fiber um, she's got multiple extens extensions on the legs it goes up to about the same height okay. very lightweight comparable to that this is this goes really well with uh, with our 100 millimeter. Uh, when you don't really uh, have to walk with it, you know, you want to put it on your back porch or on a deck to watch wildlife or take it to the range or uh, type situations where it's a stationary rather than a mobile position. This one, on the other hand, you can take anywhere. It's, it's very compact, very light. Um, very nice smooth operation. Okay, here we go. That's it. And extends uh, all the way. Very quickly. Same type of uh, pistol grip head, uh, attaches and detaches very quickly. Uh, this one, in comparison to that, is it's a little bit simpler and more lightweight to go with the overall lightweight of the tripod. It still has a bubble level here at the top. Um, very, very nice. And then we have the little uh, uh, bench top uh, carbon fiber tripod available as well. Oh, she's a mind-filled, she's a body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-body-
so I feel Leave a big smoke hole 